Vikings at Seahawks. Open Seahawks minus two. On Tuesday, we had a mix of three and a halfs and threes. Friday, we have threes across the board. I like that number for the Seahawks. Total opened up 43 and a half. Tuesday, 45 everywhere. Now, Friday, we have 45 and a half, but you can't find the 45. You can't find the 46. That $84 million contract has been heavily debated for Cousins. Throwing 23 touchdown passes, completed a career best, 71.3% of his throws, and he's rolling with Thielen and Diggs. Diggs, though, seems like he's banged up, doesn't quite look as electric as he has been, but Thielen is absolutely rolling, 1,166 yards. Seahawks rank among the league's best at defending the pass during the first half of the season, but the secondary has regressed. Two weeks ago, Cam Newton completed all 14 of his first half pass attempts. Nick Mullins put up 400 plus yards. Now Shaquille Griffin, Trey Flowers, Tedrick Thompson will have to handle this spot. They'll have to defend Thielen and Diggs. I think that's probably the most important spot in the game right now is will the Seahawks be able to handle the Vikings wide receivers? I like the Seahawks here. I like the Seahawks at home. We know how hard it is to win in Seattle. Donnie, Vikings at Seahawks. You know what? This is another really good game. And, you know, early in the week, we like to see Jimmy Howe some injury information type shakes. I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed with the way Kirk Cousins is playing, especially in most of these bigger ball games. He did play well against Green Bay on that Sunday night football game. But, I mean, everybody looks like they're playing well against that Green Bay defense. But the one thing that you're getting back in your favor, remember we talked Tuesday, Trey Waning is going to play. Upgraded the probable, dealing with that really bad concussion, or what looked like was a bad concussion. He's back in. Eric Kendrick's having the problem with the rib injury. This year, the middle linebacker, he's going to play. And Xavier Rhodes. Jimmy practice full all week long not on any injury reports that's a full go defense and the one thing that you absolutely have to have is an athletic front seven to try to combat that read option you know run pass reads that Russell Wilson is going to give you and all season long Minnesota has been sensational at defending the run that's really going to creep into it because now if Jimmy if you just have a front four and a front seven that can concentrate on Russell Wilson playing some street ball but now you have your defenders back that can cover the wide receivers it's, it's funny how you change, you know, from early in the week to late week. It's hard to win in Seattle. Seattle's playing really good football, but some things I just can't pass by and say the one thing that Seattle can really do is if you can't stop the run or be effective against the run of Russell Wilson, they'll chop you up. But this Minnesota team can fight and will do it. The only downgrade that you have is that how tough is this, Jimmy? You go on the road and you play New England on the East Coast. You get beat. You fly back to Minneapolis. Then you got to go all the way to the West Coast now and play in another tough environment where – you're expected to win this football game because if it's minus three, hey, great, let's hang around. Oh, I pushed the game. No, you're expecting to win this football game, and that's something that's really hard to do. I don't have a clear touch on this game right now, but I'm actually trying to build a case to take the Minnesota Vikings here. Interesting. Nico liking Seattle minus three. Yeah. Tom Marino says, I'd lean Vikings because of a run defense, but I'm not betting against Wilson at this number. Hard. Joe Hill says Seattle covers. Quinn Rivera thinks Seattle comes through here. Vikes aren't as good as they were last season. Thought they'd be the front runner in the division this year and make a run with Cousins, but it doesn't look like it. Tom says Vikings like a, a running game on the road. It's hurt all year. They do have a strong defense. Eric Nisbet says Hawks offense is clicking. Donnie, making a case for the Vikings. What do you think about this total here yeah, no, I'm going to, It's for some reason, when you watch Seattle play football, I mean, Russell Wilson has the playmaking ability, and Kirk Cousins is going to be a gunslinger, both good and bad. If you're going to hang a number at that 46, you know, I'm probably going to take an interest in looking at the over, and we're not going to get bad field conditions there, Jimmy. Look, at kickoff, 45 degrees and five mile an hour winds. Whenever you get that on a turf surface, you're going to lean towards taking the over in those games. Russell Wilson almost seems like no matter how good the defense is, he's going to make plays and extend plays. And Kirk Cousins, if you can get a good Kirk Cousins, and a lot of this depends on also, you talked about Stephon Diggs being healthy in this football game, Adam Thielen being healthy in this football game. If they're much better than they were the past couple weeks, that's only going to help it out as well. But there's a lot to be desired in that. But it's 45. It's good weather. I think they can do it. Interesting, and the market has moved in that direction. I like the Seahawks here. Luckily, we're going to be able to cap this all through the weekend. Yeah. Again on Monday on our own shows, you on Right Side of Campus, myself with Loshak in the bag, which is wonderful.
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.